In a major addition to Apple Maps in iOS 18 and macOS Sequoia, we now have access to pre-saved hikes in national parks, and we gain the ability to create our own custom hiking or walking routes. Let's start on the iPad. Here I have the Many Glacier area of Glacier National Park visible in Maps. As I zoom in, notice that we have several trailheads that are marked. Tap on a trailhead for directions to it. But we also have some pre-saved hikes available from this trailhead. If I tap on the Cracker Lake hike, the map will zoom out to display that entire trail. In the panel to the left, we can see the mileage of the hike along with the elevation gain and loss. Below that, we can again get directions to the trailhead or tap Add to Library to save the route. We're able to edit the name, add a description, and download the route to our device before saving it. Having it downloaded to the device will allow us to see the map details, even if we don't have a cellular connection available at the start or during our hike. I'll tap Done and save that hike. It's now available in the Route section of our Maps Library, which is going to sync with your other Apple devices as long as Maps is activated in iCloud settings on each device. Rather than just relying on pre-saved hikes in the Maps app, we're also able to create our own custom routes and save those to our library as well. If I'm starting from the Cracker Lake trailhead again and know that I want to hike to Upper Grinnell Lake, I can tap on the trailhead and then create custom route. Now I just need to tap periodically along the route that I want to take. So I'll tap to add a couple points on the way to Upper Grinnell Lake. Notice that there's also an undo button here, so if a mistake is made we can easily move back step by step. As points are added, the distance and elevation gain are displayed. In this case, one way from the trailhead to the lake is about 5.5 miles with around 2,300 feet of elevation gain. With these buttons above, we're able to reverse the direction of the hike, which in this case would display the route coming down from Upper Grinnell Lake to the Cracker Lake trailhead. Next, we could make this an out and back hike which means it will complete the route by going right back the same way that we came. That then shows the entire distance and elevation changes. Zoom in on the trail a bit and we can see this double arrow letting us know that we'll be on this trail going both directions. Choosing the closed loop option in this case will give us the same route as the out and back option did. If I'd rather not do just the out and back route, it's possible to go back a step or two and then continue adding points on the way back. So I could continue this hike to go to the main Grinnell Lake, then up the valley a bit more and loop back down towards Cracker Lake Trailhead. Add a point near there, and then tap Close Loop to complete the route. Tap Save and this custom route can be downloaded and saved to My Routes. This will sync over to my iPhone, and from My Routes collection, it can then be downloaded on that device as well. We don't need to be in a national park to create custom hiking routes like this. Here in Maps on my iPhone, there's a trailhead right here in my neighborhood that we can create a custom route from. Just tap to add points and I could make a quick loop here. It's also possible to make a larger loop and include streets in the route.
and actually we don't even need to be at a designated trailhead. Tap and hold anywhere on the map to mark the location. Then from the More button, we have the Custom Route option. I could then plot out a walk around this neighborhood and save that as a custom route. So this can be a really great feature for finding or creating your own hikes or just mapping out a quick walking route around your neighborhood.